Welcome back, everyone. We're playing the worst game in the world. So a lot of people say. Uh, if you don't recognize it from this menu screen, we're playing uh, Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Yay, um, Skyward Sword. I'm so excited for this game. So as some context, I have played through the game already. I have never played through this game. So, uh, nope, I'm sorry. I lied. I have played through oh, this game up to the oh shit uh the forest temple and i literally mean i just got to the forest temple and was walking down the stairs and i stopped playing because fee is the worst companion ever and i don't need eight fucking tutorials to tell me how to descend stairs so, also, I don't know if you're gonna see this, everybody, but there are scan lines down our screen. Like, I can see the pixels in this screen. Yeah. Tell us in the comments below if you see the pixels. And I don't mean that in like a, a druggy highway, like, dude, I see pixels in life. <laughs> I can see the pixels. So what the hell's going on? Why are these people committing suicide? Why are the birds saving them? They're not. We the the people of Skyloft live with the birds. What? Uh, what? Yeah, it's a symbiotic relationship. It's like horses. When you're on a floating island, instead of having a horse, you have giant flying birds. Oh, okay. And obviously, Link won't have one when you start off the game because, like in every other Zelda game, he doesn't have a fairy companion. Or the fairy companion doesn't have a person to help him, and so they symbiotically attach themselves to Link. Well, I mean, you're not wrong. Legend of Zelda is very much a coming-of-age story for a lot of people, so this is one of the rites of passages of getting older. Just give it a chance, what? Tom. Just give it a chance. Okay. Why is there a giant... Rise, Link. Why is there a shadow penis coming out of the ground? Because he's the angry demon lord. Oh my but god. But spoilers, we'll get to that later. Oh my god, it's one of those shitty, shitty... Fake voice, computer voice things. The thing that, that the Hatsune Miku thing yeah. uses. Oh my god, I hate that so much. It's like, that is me. What are we doing this? Me playing this game because this game is way better than people give it credit for. <laughs> it can't be that good though. It actually is not it's, bad, but it, there's a lot of things that this game did that no other Zelda games did that like, I really, be bad. really liked about it. Like be bad, like not be a fun game. No, it's a great game. Like having a giant bird that happens hey, to have a hamburger mouth. Like its mouth is a hamburger. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. All right. I like this bird. Fuck you, Link. Get out of here. Here's your fucking mail, asshole. Yeah. Looks like somebody likes you. My name isn't Sleepyhead. Hey, Sleepyhead. I know how much you like to sleep in, so I'm guessing this letter will be your alarm clock this morning. Did I guess right? Rise and shine, Link. Today's the wing ceremony. You promised to me... You promised to meet me before the starts, remember? You better not keep me waiting. Zelda. But what if Zelda... Was a girl. You've already made that joke twice now, Steve. Yeah, but now I've made it on the air. It doesn't make it any better. Shut up. You're in the Night Academy. Yeah, because we're training to be Skyloft Knights. Oh, okay, cool. It's interesting. So, And the giant remote on the side is a little obnoxious. Yeah, I don't think it's there the whole game. I don't remember it being there the whole game. Um, You were saying? Hey, buddy. Yeah. Morning, Link. Today's night. So, today is the wing ceremony. Are you ready? All I'm saying is everyone is out practicing at the plaza, but you seem pretty relaxed about the whole thing. Of course, that crimson loft wing of yours is something special. I feel pretty confident riding him, too. My bird won last ceremony, but even I don't think you could beat that red terror of yours. Of course, bird's true speed in a race always comes down to the skill of the rider. I'm something of a bird researcher around here. So you know, if you ever find yourself in need of some bird expertise, 
Come see old Pippet. So this was something that you and I kind of talked about previously. Uh huh. Um. Hey, 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 hey. That uh, one of the things I actually really, really liked about this. Hey, Link. The day of the wing ceremony is finally upon us. My abnormally long limbs and body and head make it so I talk like this. The great instructor Horal will taught you well. While we're at it, do you remember how to look around using yep. C? Press C to, if you feel as though the cursor has moved out of alignment, point there by... <laughs> See ya! Wait, 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 turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, go, go to the blackboard. Go to the blackboard. Should I push C to look around, Tom? No, no, no. Boop. See that thing on the right? Yeah, over there. Go over there. Press C and look at it. That right there is something that a lot of Japanese people do. Um, it's supposed to be like a, a bonding of two people or it's supposed to be like a good oh. luck charm to get like couples together. Okay. And so it's interesting that they kind of like blurred out the words. So there's probably two names under there and it was trying to like get them to love each to be in love each other. More Link! Today's the big wing ceremony, right? <laughs> I want to fly too, but I didn't make the cut because accounting for my pointed ears and big nose and all. Plus, I gotta move these barrels over to the kitchen because I'm real strong. My family ain't known for being real strong. Anyways, Link, you're my best friend. <laughs> you're the only one who talks to the help. <laughs> Uh, no, no, no. And I like you, Link. I feel like everything I try instead of picking up. You know how you can pick things up? You press the A button. Oh, you real strong, Mr. Link. I'm going gonna, I gonna, <laughs> to help you. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Mr. Link. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I you carry one of those bells over to the kitchen, then you put it down again when pressing the A, but don't be wrong while you're doing it, otherwise you throw my shit and then I'll get in trouble. Yeah, don't be swinging that Wiimote, you gonna get me beat. <laughs> you try rolling them either. Just press 2, I'll bring up an explanation of everything. Even if you don't want an explanation, the explanation gonna be coming to you all the time. <laughs> So I will say this, because I know I've heard some people argue um, or make the complaint that the stamina bar adds nothing to the game. And that is very true. There's very little value in that stamina bar. But it makes it so that way you have to put the barrel down and then press it up to pick it up again and then put it down again. Yeah. It's dumb. It, 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 it makes it so that way you know you throw have it. to... Throw it. I don't think you should throw it. I think that'll break it, doesn't it? Yes. All right, and then he gets beat, if I remember well, correctly. He doesn't actually get beat, but then I don't accomplish it. Hey. Per se. There you go. There you go. There you go. Oh, Jesus! What's all this? I thought that Fledg is to carry that. Hey, he doesn't know what he's gonna do. That skinny boy, no, no nothing. Say, and you got some important ceremony or some such today? <laughs> and thanks for the help anyways. My, my nose is really big. It always itches. So anyways, like I was saying, um, one of the things I really liked about this game is that these characters are like, they, you know, mm -hmm. they appear in this this world and you actually interact with them a lot. And the more and more you interact with them, the, the more like your kind of story and everything kind of changes with them. So like, this is actually a good instance. Because we're helping Fledge move these barrels, later down the road, he's going to be a better friend to us. Hmm. It, there's like, these are, this is cool shit that they really... I, I've come to realize that I think... And, I, and this could be wrong because I don't know how their teams are set up. Mm -hmm. But I really feel like there's multiple teams that work on Legend of Zelda titles. Mm -hmm. um, one team makes the sort of tried and true Legend of Zelda titles. Uh -huh. While another one does the kind of more experimental titles. Like this and Wind Waker are very much experimental titles. Like... They tried new shit that was kind of risky. Yeah. Uh, Interesting. Um, did you have to move both barrels for him? I don't think so. I think I just have to move the one. Oh, okay. Hey, and uh, there's a there's a toilet you can sit on. Let's just let's just blow that out right now. Oh, there's more to that toilet later. Uh, what? What? Wait. What? Are, what? Are you, what are you talking Nothing. about? Why is there more to a toilet? <laughs> there may or may not be a side quest with that toilet later. 
Yep. Okay. Um, I'm a little weirded out right now. It's fine. It's okay. Oh, look. It's the traditional Legend of Zelda pan to see the world that you have already flown over twice. Got off. With, uh, you know, the zoom out to your location shot. To kind of give you direction as to where you're supposed to be heading right now. Gonna be cynical. Oh, look! Play through. Look at! Look at! Look at! It's 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 the toucan sandbird. Follow your nose. F -f -f follow your nose. Follow your nose to save your game. Follow your nose into a pile of cocaine. <laughs> oh shit! That's how you. That's how you live. That's how I live. That's why I can smell all these colors. Hey. These beautiful gold. Okay. Hey, Link, go here. And yes, I will be cynical in my life. Yo. Good morning to you, Link. Today is finally the day of the long-awaited wing ceremony. Are you feeling ready? Oh, I just remembered. There's something I'd like to ask you about. Look this way while pressing Z, while holding Z, and press A to have a quick chat with me. Hey, it's gone. Excellent. Always remember to press Z if I was to target something. Once you have targeted someone, then you can Z and talk with A. That's pretty neat. Isn't that neat? <clears throat> Even when there isn't something that is on Z, it can point you to face some direction. Blah, 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 blah. Let's go up there. Yep. So, the game is a little heavy-handed with the uh -huh. tutorials. Yeah. But I feel like the rest of, like, uh, I mean, this is a tutorial that appeared exactly, almost the exact same way in, uh, what's it called? Um, Ocarina of Time, yes. Majora's Mask. Ocarina. It also appears in Majora's Mask. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Uh, it also appears in every single Legend of Zelda game. Since, since Ocarina? Ocarina, yeah. yeah. So, um, this is actually a very interesting topic here. Uh, there, there are a lot of people who believe in things like intuitive gameplay, uh, intuitive learning, yeah. versus um, things like this, where you have heavy-handed tutorials that instruct you on things. And I think both of them have a purpose. There is definitely a good reason to have them. On one end, you know, heavy handed tutorials like this one are very annoying. Mm hmm. Uh, for a lot of people because when you're playing through the game for the f second time like if you get like um, what's the word I'm looking for you get struck by um, uh, what is that word uh, when you when you when you are talking about something and it makes you want to go back and try something again or, or play something again that you remember fondly Nostalgic? Yeah, when you get a nostalgic and you want to... When you get a nostalgic, fuck. When you get nostalgic and you want to play another game for a second time, uh, and you run into these, like, instructions, mm -hmm. it, it can be very frustrating because it's like, oh, God, I already know this. I get it. I press A to jump. I can move the box by pressing A and moving it and then leaping on it, yada, yada, yada. Uh, I wish I could just, like, turn off the tutorials or, you know, I wish it was more intuitive where it didn't need that. Right. But then there are things like, you know, um, ah, geez, what's a great example of this? Like, like Link's twirl, like his spin slash. You won't know to like intuitively do that with a motion control. Yeah. Like you'll sit there and like you'll twirl your controller around and that may not work. You know, it could be something like, you know, you have to like press up, you have to flick up and then, you know, spin around and then you can do it. Or, you know, you won't know necessarily how to throw things without it, like, showing you like that. Right, yeah. And so there are grounds for both intuitive versus um, explained instructionals for a game. Right. And I actually think that this, like, little tutorial right here is actually a really good example of, of a merging of the two. Uh -huh. so, like, when we first approached, right, he told us how to dash and how to auto-jump and all that stuff. And he's like, hey... You need to go get this little kitty cat thing. Would you do that for me? 
but it doesn't actually tell you that you could, you know, climb this ledge or climb the vines. And then we're gonna get when you get up there. Sure, he mentions the barrel or the yeah. box, mm -hmm. but he doesn't directly say, "Hey, push the box over." Oh, oh, you got a stamina fruit. Yay, stamina fruit! You know, punishes your stamina gauge. Hey, buddy. Oh, oh shit! I like his hair. Oh my god. Morning, Link. How's life? Do you, did you manage to get even a week of sleep last night? I figured you might have been tossing and turning all night thinking about the big woogie woogie down the ceremony tonight. What am I doing? <laughs> Thank you for asking. Just fixing this gate here. It's been squeaky lately and we can't have that on the day of the ceremony if you're catching my jive. Hey, you've been... You haven't already forgotten to send your prayers to the goddess this morning, have you? Because we are an overtly religious group of people. We worship the bird statue over there. Say a short prayer and you save your progress. What is saving your progress? What does it mean to save? You, when you die, you die. You don't get to come back to life. These bird statues are all over Skyloft. <laughs> that, that's all I'm saying. You, you just save, you know? Yeah. You, just, you save your life. Touch, touch the statue. Touch the statue. Say touch some it. words, you know. Just touch it, like. Yeah. Like, oh, oh, wait, go back, go back, go back. Actually, look up. Use the C button. Yeah, look at that. Turn around. Turn, 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 turn. Look at that. Look at that. Up there. Ooh. Uh. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry, I had to sneeze. So, on the thing on the right, and the thing in the middle, uh -huh. and theoretically on the thing on the left, which is blocked by that pillar, those are yep. all are. abilities from the very first uh, Legend of Zelda for the SNES. Yeah. Link to the Past. Those are the different spells you learn. Which I think each of those symbols corresponds to a different, different goddess. goddess. Yeah. Yep. Din, Flo, and uh, something else. Yeah. I forget the third one. I always forget the third one. She doesn't mean anything to me. But yeah, uh, chronologically, this is the first Zelda game in the timeline. What? Yeah. This is the very, this is the beginning of the Legend of Zelda series. Wait, how do you know that? Uh, first off, when as we play through the game and you see the story, there's some very clear evidence that it is actually, like, the first game in the series. Interesting. Yeah. Like, it talks about why Link and Ganon and Zelda are always stuck in this cycle of endless violence against each other over and over again. It's is actually it, really interesting. Is it? Is it because Link borrowed his lawnmower and never returned it? <laughs> Hammer, and Zelda. Actually. Hammer. And Zelda is actually their like love interest from high school, and she chose Link over Ganon. Well, actually, she doesn't even choose Link. I think in any of the games. No, there's always there's always this kind of like ambiguous love connection with them. Like, yeah, it's one of those. It's not always some sort of love connection. Like, you, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Um, also, in the official Nintendo chronological order this is the first game in the series interesting and again like once we get to the ending of it it's very clear that this is intended to be the start of the legend of zelda huh. like storyline well you heard it here f probably not first no. but yeah this is the beginning of the legend of zelda so technically this game shouldn't be called the legend of zelda it should be called the the beginning the, of the, zelda the real life adventures of zelda yeah the Before real life actually legend. you know what that's a great point it's the real life adventures of zelda this is the adventure of zelda yep. is what this game should be called get your shit together nintendo come on all right i'm uh, glad to see my laugh wing got you out of bed i was pretty sure you'd sleep in and forget to meet me this morning it's not like i couldn't have come and woken you up but look at this instrument, and look at this outfit. They're mine to use today in the ceremony, since I'll be playing the role of the goddess. You better worship me, Link. Aren't they beautiful? Worship me, especially this instrument worship. They tell me it's just like the one the goddesses have said to have in the legends. Worship, 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 worship. It sounds gorgeous, too. I asked Father about it. He says it's a harp. All right. Of all the education, she did not learn what a harp was. <laughs> and no. look at these clothes. I made this wrap myself, and we get to use it in today's ceremony. Between the harp and this outfit, I'm going to make a great goddess today. Worship, everyone will love me. I got you up early this morning because I wanted you to be the first to see me like this, Link. Why? Okay. That, that just, like... That screams. Nice costume. Uh, great. 
It's great! <laughs> like... <sighs> okay, I'll, I'll go on my rant later. Huh. What? I think so, too. She wants Link's D? Uh, you're the first person she wants to see. Oh, she's to totally see. crushing on you. She, she's totally crushing, so why is there weird, ambiguous, like, love... Tr like? Well, most of them have the ambigu ambiguity to it. Uh -huh. This one, like, it's pretty clear she's okay. crushing on you. Okay, cool. I, but it's nice to know you agree. Thanks, Lunk. <laughs> Me, Lunk. <laughs> Me, smartest. Now I just want to have a Legend of Zelda game where Link is replaced by a space orc who has no idea how he got there, but he's willing to play along. So he just walks up to the first boss, and the boss is like, I will battle you, Link. Link, throw bombs at him. Mm. Lunk punch it with power fist. <laughs> and he just grabs and crushes it. Lunk grab, Lunk grab Daka off floor. That's a rock. <laughs> Why is that a gun? Daka, Daka, Daka. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the greatest game. Ah, there you are, Zelda. Are you all prepared for today's ceremony? Oh, hello, Father. Why am I doing both of the voices? Hello. Steve, take over the van. Ah, uh, Link. You're here, too. I guess. Outstanding. Do you like my crazy hair? It's fucking giant eyebrows for days! It's encouraging to see you up so early. It, even though it's past noon, you lazy fuck. <laughs> Given your capacity for sleep and not work, you lazy fuck. No oh. doubt today's ceremony had you too excited to close your eyes for once. You're probably late, up late baiting. Oh god! <laughs> oh, oh, those eyebrows! <laughs> if you win today's ceremonial race, you'll get to participate in the post race Actually, ritual with Zelda. So give it your best shot out there. Actually, those mm. those eyebrows are very reminiscent of like like traditional Japanese yeah. uh, dragons. You know, it's also reminiscent of huh? Uh, King of Red Lions. Yeah, I, I was actually gonna say that it looks just like the King of Red Lions, like his horn that right. appears on the boat. Yeah. Can we uh, get a side by side <laughs> shot? Um, yeah, like I said, it's very clear that the kind of design team and like artist artist team that worked on Wind Waker worked on this title as well. Uh huh. Yeah, uh, it, it really is because it's also a very unique art style. Yes, about that. <laughs> Look at how like derpy Link kind of looks. Father, I don't know if he can do it. Oh shit! He's a loser, and he, he looks like he bit into a lemon. But me he... bird is red. Red is goes faster. <laughs> <laughs> Link hasn't been practicing it out at all because he's such a lazy fuck. <laughs> wow, they really are laying that on thick. Like, wow, he's the lazy prick. I wish you'd get his act together and fucking marry me, asshole. <laughs> and even when he's out riding his long boy, he's just lazily gliding around. Probably wow. daydreaming. Lunk having second thoughts about life. Why why Lunk live like this? I don't know what he's thinking, but it sure isn't going to fucking do anything about winning today. Piece of shit. <laughs> fucking lazy ass motherfucker. Get a job, Lunk. In. You need to get a job. You need to think of your future. You need to think of how you're going to take care of me. And our kids. No need to worry yourself, Zelda. Though you may have a point, today's wing ceremony tests the skill of the rider as well as his bond with his bird. It gives them plus two defense, it says. Victory will not come easily. And, as you pointed out, I haven't seen him practicing as hard as some of the other students. But you've known him since you were both little. You should know better than to fret about him. You see... Link and his loft wing share a special connection, which is good because he's a lazy piece of shit. I've never seen anything quite like it. Nope, we're we gonna get the... As you know, each of us in Skyloft is about one half of a pair. Oh my god, how long is this gonna go on? I don't know. Alright, well, this this looks like it's gonna take a while. Everybody, we're gonna, we're gonna cut it right here, and we will come back with more. In the next video. Bye, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>